Hi, hi everyone, it's Hilman from Surf API. We have seen how to build an AI voice assistant using Assistant API. This time, we will add an extra tool, or we call it a function calling, to make sure the AI assistant is able to access a knowledge from internet or access a real-time data. In this example, we will use Google Search API by Surf API so our AI assistants can get an answer from the Google search answer box to answer any questions regarding the real-time data like the weather, stock, etc. Let's dive in. This is the structure of our AI assistance app. So we will use Web Speech API both for the input and the output. In the middle, for the main logic, we will use OpenAI assistance and we use the function calling API from the OpenAI assistance when we need a real-time data. And this function calling will call a custom function which using a SERP API API. So make sure you're registered at SERP API so you can have your API key. And as mentioned, we will use the Google Direct Answer Box API from Google. So we are able to grab any answers from any questions that we have to our AI assistant. First step is create your assistant. I'm creating a new assistant here. You can name it whatever you want. And this is my specific instruction for this assistant. Make sure to include the information that they are able to call an external function here. Next, you need to adjust your model. You can use the newest one. And then for the functions, you need to add a new function. Since we will need to introduce or prepare the assistants with the function that we are going to call get search results here. This is our schema how our structure looks like. It consists of name, description, and the important part is the parameters, which, is, which has properties query as the required one. You can add and adjust the parameters depend on your needs. For this use case, I only need the query from the user prompt later. Click save and grab your assistance ID. If you haven't watched the first part of this video, make sure to watch our previous video where we went through how to set up the voice AI assistant without an external function or without function calling. We will continue from there. Now, make sure to install the SERP API package and pm install SERP API that's the safe. And after registering at serpapi.com, grab your SERP API key and paste on the env file. Now I can grab the user API key and also include the getJSON method from the package that we just installed from SERP API. Here I'm introducing a new function, a nothing function to call the Google search API from SERP API to grab the answer box from the response. Make sure to paste your SERP API key that we get from the env file. Now we are going to update the message endpoint. We previously have by running an assistant and polling or checking the status. Here I've prepared the polling interval and now let's check our new run assistant method to create and poll based on the thread ID and assistant ID. And after that, let's see our new updated checking status function, which now run with an additional condition if it requires an action or we need to function external call, we will check again if the type is submit tool outputs, then we will loop the calls since we can have multiple calls simultaneously. It run the get search result function and we pass parsed args.query as parameter. We get this parameter from the AI. So the AI will understand and try to search or grab the query from the user's prompt and then we paste this prompt as a query to the get search results. And finally, we can submit all the tools and run all the functions before polling or running uh, with checking status again. Don't worry, I will share the link to the repository of this base. So here, just like before, we always have to check once it's completed, we can clear the interval and include the latest response here. And as an additional condition, if the status is quit or in progress, then we can run the checking status again to keep running the loop to check our latest status. 
So that's how our new code base looks like. Let's try the app cd into our backend directory and run the server with node index.js. Once it's running, let's refresh our front end to make sure it create the thread or requesting to the thread endpoint so we have the thread ID. Now I'll try with a basic conversation before trying our function calling. Hi, how are you? Okay, that's pretty cool. Now I'm going to ask for a real time data. What's Tesla stock today? I'm going to show you that it's currently running on our backend. It's calling an external API and Tesla stock. Based from my prompt here, it searched for Tesla stock price today. It successfully returned the information from Tesla stocks today, which we get from the Google answer box. We can try another one. What's the weather in New York right now? So this is my prompt. Let's take a look at our logs again it's submitting the outputs to call an external api and the query it turns my prompt into a query current weather in new york and once the answer is ready i'm going to show you what's the real direct answer box from google to make sure the answer is valid now i'm going to ask a simple question which turns the fahrenheit into a celsius can you help me turn it into a celsius Checking our logs. Make sure, since this is a simple question, it shouldn't run or call another external API. So as you can see, so as you can see, it's now answer my simple question without running an external API. So the OpenAI model is smart enough to decide when to call for an external function and when not to. So that's it. I hope you like it. As mentioned, I have written all the step-by-step -step in a blog post. I will also share the link to the repository for this code so you can play around. I hope you like it. Feel free to try.